Hi guys, I'd like to do a basic introduction to sharpening. Um, I'll probably do a couple of videos on this, uh, showing different stones and how to sharpen different sorts of uh, tools or knives. Uh, but today I'm just going to start very simply, and I'm going to start with the stone that I recommend anyone new to, sh to sharpening to get, uh, which is an oil stone and uh, specifically an India stone. Uh, you can get these Norton India stones and they're this kind of, uh, the fine India stone is this kind of orange color and this is a, in my opinion, a perfect stone for anyone new to sharpening and there are a couple reasons for that. Uh, it stays fairly flat, it cuts quickly, it's fairly coarse but it's fine enough to give you a decent cutting edge, uh, a coarse but useful cutting edge. Uh, and it's used with oil and I really like oil stones. Um, a lot of people like water stones these days, uh, synthetic water stones, but I find oil is uh, less messy and uh, less prone to rusting and so it's uh, really good to start off with low maintenance. So. Just put a little bit of oil on the stone. Always use these stones with uh, with oil. You can also use them with uh, with water uh, or water and soap if you really want to. I find oil works best. Um, and just kind of spread it on there. Have some paper towels handy as sharpening anything gets a little messy. And. Uh, get a knife. Uh, probably, if you're like most people, then your kitchen knives are quite dull. Um, now, to begin with, to begin with, uh, there are two there are two things that you do when sharpening. Uh, the first is working on the edge geometry, uh, so like the angle that the edge is ground at, and the second is polishing the bevel and removing any burrs which is where you get that final sharp edge. So for now, let's assume that we're working on a uh, knife we've never touched before, and uh, I'll make it dull to just uh, prove that I'm sharpening here. So, so first of all, let's make sure we got a dull knife. <laughs> you don't need to do this, obviously. But, so that will not really at all. Yeah, it doesn't cut. So, so the first thing, if you if you just picked up a knife, you, you don't know anything about it, you've never set the bevel yourself, uh, what we need to do is uh, grind it at the angle that we want. Uh, now you don't have to be too precise here. Uh, if you're sharpening by hand, there will always be a little bit of a uh, curve to your bevel, uh, but that's okay. Uh, in fact, I kind of prefer that. Uh, personally. Now, what angle to sharpen at? Well, a good edge is about 30 degrees, so an angle is something like this. Uh, 25 is a little too low, or, or 25 is about right, is okay, um, but that's the minimum, and 35 is, is about the maximum I would go. So around 30 degrees is what you want. How do you find that? Well, you can kind of do it like this. So this is 90 degrees, right? So this is 45 degrees, right? Now this is 22 degrees. If we go here, uh, take take half of 45, you get 22, and a little bit less, and you get about you half that again or so, and you get about uh, you get about 15 degrees. So uh, you can, if you want to, you can build an angle reference, but uh, honestly, like. Just hold it about like, about like so to the stone. All right. So once you found your angle, you just start sharpening like this. Just keep that consistent angle. Try not to rock too much. Uh, or if you like a curved bevel, uh, <laughs> go ahead and rock. Doesn't really matter. And you'll see that slurry start to work. You'll see some black forming fairly quickly.
Now, when you first get your knife, this may take a while. So just be patient and keep going until you start to feel a burr on the edge. So if you if you run your fingers this way, right, then eventually you'll feel a little catch. So I can already feel it along this side of the edge, but I don't feel it here quite quite right. So so I'll keep going just a little bit in this area. All right. All right, now I feel it all along the, the edge. Now, of course, like I said, that might take a while for you. If it's your first time sharpening. But, but once you have that, once you feel a little bit of metal turned up, it's, it's turned up like this, uh, like curled back, then switch to the other side and find the same angle and have at it. And this is why I recommend starting with the coarse stone. Especially when you start uh, you start sharpening, you want something about 400 grit, 500 grit, 600 grit is fine too. India stones are good, Oil, um, diamond stones are, are good uh, for beginners, those are both easy to use. Alright, so once you, oops, so I didn't check, so let's do that a little bit again. So once you, once you feel the burr on this side, then you know that you've gotten the edge geometry correct on both sides. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, is we've set the angle. So now that we've set the angle, what we need to do is to uh, is to now remove those burrs that we that we created. So that burr, when the when you get down past to the edge and you and the you start making the the steel curve back on the upper edge, right? We don't want that in the final edge. It's it's a good indication that you got all the way down to the edge. So it's a it's a good uh, it's good feedback, uh, especially for new to sharpening. Um, but but once you once you get that when, once you get down to the edge, uh, then you want to refine things and remove that burr. So to do that, to remove a burr, you have to work it back and forth, back and forth, very gently. Uh, so first, I'm going to take a couple of uh, somewhat like normal strokes using the same pressure as I had before, and I'm going to do that on both sides. So I'm working it back and forth, back and forth. I highly recommend learning to sharpen freehand. Um, I really don't think like jigs and, and things that hold your blade at a specific angle are are worthwhile. You'll you'll learn to get much better and much quicker at sharpening this way. And there's no need to go buy a bunch of fancy equipment. All right. So so as we keep going, we can lighten up on our strokes. Like put as little near the end, you want to take a couple of strokes where you just use as little pressure as, as you can. And this will help to to get that final edge. You can also go backwards and do like a stropping stroke, like if you were doing, if you were, if you were refining the edge on leather, like this. And I find sometimes that helps. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Uh, this is a fairly coarse stone, so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be super sharp, but it's going to it's going to be a serviceable edge. Uh, certainly sharper than than a kitchen knife that's been 
sitting around uh, and you know bumped into plates and things and used on hard cutting boards and never sharpened before in its life. And uh, actually, it's pretty sharp already. Uh, and that's just off of a, uh, a fairly coarse India stone. All right, so when you're done with your oil stone, just add a little bit more oil. Actually, I really don't need to add oil. I've got a lot here, more than I need. And then just kind of like rub the uh, rub the stone until all the metal particles come up, all that like gray mud, and just wipe it down or pat it down so that it's nice and fresh and ready to cut the next time you need it. So, that's the very first stone that I recommend getting. Now, one thing, one more stone I wanted to recommend is if you if you find you want something a little bit uh, finer to finish on, uh, I highly recommend a white Arkansas stone. These are natural stones. Uh, they take... Arkansas stones are not as easy to use. It takes some more skill. Uh, but once you get to where you can you can sharpen on a coarser stone. You can pick one of these up. This is a hard white Arkansas. Uh, this one is actually from a company called Fury. Uh, but the ones I would, uh, and it's actually really good. Um, but if you wanted, in general, I would point anyone looking for Arkansas stones to uh, Dan's wet stones. Uh, which are known as being some of the, the highest quality. Norton is pretty good too. Alright, so so now we have our finished stone. So this is a much finer grit. Natural stones are uh, quite a bit finer in grit than uh, synthetic ones. Uh, this is a man-made stone when we talk about India stones. Um, whereas this is natural stone. And I really like the edge I get on natural stones. But, uh, so, so the same thing, we start off, uh, I want to remove the scratches that I, that the course of stone made. So I'm gonna, at first I'm gonna kind of do this, uh, same, same, uh, more, uh, working on one side for, for a little while. I'm gonna go back and forth. And you can see that stone is cutting quite well. I really like these these white. Uh, oh, this is moving on me. I really like these white stones, hard white. Uh, most people put them at about two thousand grit, but I find them to be. Uh, I find them to be finer than that. Let's say three thousand or even finer. The thing with natural stones is they really don't equate to any sort of grit uh, rating. You can actually get a uh, like, depending on how you use them, you can actually sort of get them to cut finer or finish finer. And they they uh, they refine better if you take them to like a, a bare leather strop. All right, so I've definitely gone enough on this stone. So now I'm going to do that same thing where I I, uh, I start working off that uh, that that burr. This is quite a small stone so it's little. I really should have it up on a stand where I can reach it more easily. I fairly like small stones though. A lot of people like really large stones. Um, I like to sometimes like put my stones in, in a toolbox or take them when I'm camping or something, so so small stones have their have their place. Now I'm really trying to lighten up on this. Some really light strokes. 
Now let's let's go for the stopping strokes. Um, All right, let's see what we got. Wipe the oil off of your blade and take a piece of paper. And that is incredibly smooth. So, there you go. That's how you sharpen. Now, if you want to, you can take this to even just some bare leather and just uh, do those kind of stropping strokes. Don't cut into the leather, but just uh, go like so and refine it even further. But honestly, for most things, even for most, uh, say if you're doing woodworking and chisel work, like this is really as far as you need to go in most cases. Um, unless maybe you're working with like really soft wood or, or finished planing. So there you go, that's how to sharpen. Uh, I'll have some more videos on sharpening different things like uh, knives. Uh, I'm sorry, I <laughs> just did a knife. Uh, like um, planes and chisels, and uh, maybe I'll cover some different types of stone as well. Uh, thanks for watching.